Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to drop duplicates in Stata. In order to do this, let's go ahead and start by opening up a data set here and I've created 500 empty observations to start with here as you can see using the set OBS command and I'm going to create a variable here and do a couple of things. First as you can see this is just a sequential run here from 1 through 500 for the observations that I just created and now I'm going to create some duplicates within this variable. So using this command here I'm going to say replace var1 equals 25 in 65 slash 101. So what this command means in Stata language is uh, I'm basically just telling Stata to place the value of 25 in all the observations from 65 through 101. So after entering that command we can scroll down here and we can see that yes indeed starting in 65 and running all the way down to 101 we have just a run of 25s here and that is our duplicate uh, variable. So now let's say that we wanted to dr drop all the duplicates um, in the data set. We would just issue the command duplicates drop then press enter and we see here that Stata has deleted 37 duplicate observations. If we go back to the data set we'll see here that all the values of 25 that were here previously that I just showed you are missing and the data set is shorter now because we just got rid of 37 duplicates it's gone down to 463 observations. Now you can do other stuff with the drop uh, the duplicates drop command and one of the functions of interest is to only drop duplicates within uh, certain groups so I am going to enter some syntax here and then talk you through it. Um, I've cleared out the, the variables that I created earlier, the uh, values, and now I'm setting up a new data set with 500 observations. I'm going to create a new uh, a variable here, var1, and I'm going to create a bunch of duplicates again for uh, var1, uh, duplicating the value of 25 in 37 observations here. And I've also created a group, uh, group 1. Um, and I'm also placing the value 2 here in certain observations. Now it's a lot of syntax so why don't I just enter it and then just kind of walk you through what I did here. So you can see here that we have our var1 variables here which are kind of a sequential run except starting here at observation 65 there's a bunch of 25s that duplicate. And what we also have here uh, is, a, is a group variable that takes on two forms 1 and 2 with two kind of just existing here from observation 79 down to observation 114. So now we can actually drop some duplicates using conditions. So for example, let's say we want to get rid of duplicates only if the group equals 2. So we would use the command duplicates drop if group and then we would string together two equal signs together and then just enter 2. And we see that in fact 22 observations were deleted. If you recall from the last procedure we had 37 duplicates I believed, yes we see here, 37 duplicates that were dropped. This time we only dropped 22 and that's because we specified that the duplicates were only to be dropped for a group 2. So if we go back and look at the data we'll see that this is where group 2 begins and there are no duplicates within group 2. It starts at 25 and then there's a sequential run after that from uh, 102 to 114 but there are no duplicates here. Notice that because we delimited this procedure to group 2 that there are still a bunch of duplicates here in group 1. As you can see 25 is repeated but let's say that for whatever reason we were not interested in dropping those duplicates for group 1 but only in group 2 we can go ahead and use this helpful feature of status syntax to achieve that goal. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means 
helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.